On this episode of the vlog, we're gonna talk about leisure, goals, YouTube, Instagram, and copywriting. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome to the vlog. This is episode three. And in this vlog, we talk about me starting my internet design business and the struggles and triumphs that I go through. Thanks for tuning in. If you'd like, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button on the bottom with the little notification bell so that YouTube will inform you when I make these videos. Also, make sure you like and comment. So this weekend was um, pretty interesting because it was the first weekend I actually like took some time to relax and chill. It's been a few years since I've done that and you know, it was nice. I just hung around and you know, watched some shows that I wanted to catch up on, like uh, I finished Daredevil Season 3 and I was trying to finish Punisher Season 2. I also uh, watched Deadpool 2, which I did not get to see it until this weekend. And I, I got a little bored um, just cause like my mind was just racing and like I just needed to sit with myself and I needed to chill for a little bit. There's always gonna be stuff to do when you start a business. There's always gonna be fires to put out. But when you can take a chance and actually like relax and enjoy life, I mean that's really important. Um, you're never gonna get this time back. You're never gonna be this young as you are right now. Um, just, you know, take time to enjoy yourself. This week on Instagram, I talked about a concept that was on seven habits of highly effective people. And it talks about sharpening your axe, you know, taking the time to relax and to prepare yourself and your mind for the task at hand. You may have heard of the quote by Abraham Lincoln that if I had four hours to cut down a tree, I would spend the first three hours sharpening the ax. Um, you know, it's not all about work and hustle. Sometimes you gotta relax, spend time with your kids, spend time with your wife, or spend time with your friends. Um, and I, I really, it was weird to do that for the first time in a few years. Uh, so definitely well worth it and you just need to Learn how to do that, learn how to relax your mind. Some things that I like to do that really helps with uh, me relaxing. Uh, I like yoga. I just go on YouTube and look up like a 30 minute yoga thing. I like to do float therapy. Uh, that's where you sit in this pod where the water is about the temperature of your body and there's a thousand pounds of Epsom salt and you just float there in complete darkness. It's great. Um, Sure, many of you have seen it on the Joe Rogan podcast. Uh, it's fantastic. I highly encourage it. I'll put a link below to where you can learn more about that. Um, it's great. It's very relaxing. It really helps you focus on calming your mind down and calming your thoughts and just being present. Uh, another way that I enjoy, you know, relaxing is I like to play Minecraft with my kids. Uh, you know, we'll put put it on three player and we'll just, you know, figure out a task and we try and, you know, have fun together. It's super fun. We enjoy it and enjoy each other's company and it's relaxing, you know, it calms down your mind. I enjoy watching TV shows with my wife or reading or anything like that. Just something that helps me separate my mind and go somewhere else. Uh, it's great. I really, I enjoy my leisure time when I get it. And you should too. Don't be ashamed of leisure time. You don't have to be on Instagram, DMing people or trying to figure out, you know, how to make money all the time. It's not worth it. Take your leisure time, but be mindful that it is your leisure time and, you know, write it in there and then time it, get back to work, you know, an hour here, an hour there. It adds up, but it's really important. And seven strategies for wealth and happiness. Uh, they talk about, I'm still on the goals chapter. I'm um, talking about short-term goals, long-term goals, and how to 
really reward yourself and how to punish yourself for when you fail at meeting those goals and it it should hurt i'm trying to write down my goals right now and what i want um, i know that for me i want to, for in the next three years i want to make a hundred thousand uh, dollars on my side hustle so that i can finally branch out and do it full time irving hill designs full time i can do it i know i can do it it's written down um, I just gotta get there, but now it's time for me to figure out the action plan uh, to try and make it to the 100,000. The next thing, uh, that's gonna be more of a midterm goal or mid-range goal. For short term goals uh, within the next year, so we are in July, it's almost the end of July, so by this time next year, what should my goal be? I'm not really sure, I gotta figure that out. I got a lot of things going on in my life and I just need to figure that out. I promise all of you, my viewers, that next week on that episode, I will tell you what my short-term goal is. Um, you guys can hold me accountable. I also put on my three-year goal. Um, I gotta figure out a 10 year goal. That should be interesting. I gotta really delve deep and see what I want from my life. You can curate your future. You can. You just gotta have a goal, make a plan, execute. Is stuff gonna happen? Yes. Are you gonna have to change those goals? Yes. But you gotta be flexible. If you don't, make a plan, you're gonna fail. If you don't wanna be flipping burgers for the rest of your life, you need to make a plan on how to get out of there. You know, I did it. I worked at McDonald's for four years and I figured out what I wanted to do and my plans changed, but I adapted, I overcame, and that's what we gotta do. You can do it. It's just make a plan and just try and do your best to make that plan happen. Even something small, like saving $5 a paycheck for to do this. You, I mean, it might take you three years of saving up $5 per paycheck to be able to get you that one thing. Maybe it'll be like a nicer iPhone so that you can record your YouTube videos and have higher quality videos. I mean, Right now you can buy an iPhone 7 for like 200 bucks. Like, it might take you a long time to save up that $200. You don't, like who knows? But you can do it. And I have faith in you. And I have faith in myself. Make a plan, you know? Execute. That's easy. You can do it. Seven Strategies for Wealth and Happiness. It's a great book. Uh, I'll put it in the description again. Part of my goals is a, my YouTube channel. Uh, I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers in six months. I've been looking at different plans and strategies, and right now I think I have three subscribers. So thank you, all three of you. I don't know who you are, but thank you for subscribing to my videos. Um, but the goal is in six months to hit 100. This is going to be episode three, so I got one more episode and that'll be a month so five more months i gotta figure out a plan of how to get 20 subscribers per month for the six month mark uh, to be able to hit that goal and um, just learning more and more every day about youtube different strategies how it works uh, different tools to help me grow um, just different ways that i can leverage my influence on YouTube, although very little, to make money, you know, have different sources of income. And we'll see, six months, get it. 100 subscribers. I can do it, I just gotta put in the action plan and just execute, I just need to do it. I can do it, I know. Another thing I need to figure out how to grow is my Instagram. Although I'm engaging a lot, I'm not gaining as many 
followers as I thought I would be getting. Uh, I'm at 150 right now, but to tell you the truth, I just really haven't been that focused on that right now. In addition to working on client, on my client, you know, and, and, and working on their Instagram, uh, I've just been laxing on mine and I need to stop that. I need to focus on my own stuff in order to grow. That way I can get more business, more influence, and I can continue to move forward. One of the things I've been working on this week, I just started yesterday, yes, yesterday. Uh, I started learning some copywriting skills. I'm not a great blogger. You can go ahead, look in the description below and read some of my things. I think it's okay, but I can definitely be better. Um, I need to write more, that's for sure. Currently, my blog schedule is once a week, and I really want to ramp that up to three times a week. So that'll be a good one-year goal. You know, get to the one, uh, three blogs a week in a year. If I can do it, I think I can. So I need to start sitting down and creating this content. I need to be focused on the content ideation phase and just create a bunch of topics and just write them ahead of time. Uh, I think I can do it. So three times four would be 12 blogs a month. Um, I just need to get good, valuable content that you guys would wanna read and that you guys would wanna share with your friends. That's the key. And that I like. Cause if I'm not passionate, I'm not just gonna write anything. I gotta be passionate about it and I gotta like it, you know? It's not just gonna be some fluff. Um, you, I, I owe you guys too much to be able to just throw something out there randomly. Um, that's, it's just not gonna work that way. Thanks everybody. Uh, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell so that you know when I post my videos. And we'll see you next week for episode four.